Canvassing, or going door to door to personally connect with voters, is one of the most powerful and essential elements of a successful political campaign. That's why on election night, candidates always thank their volunteers for tirelessly working to knock on doors and make the victory possible. After working with campaign volunteers on many campaigns, we can tell you that it's the people who walk the precincts who make the changes in outcome on election day, especially in close races. And there's no better feeling than knowing that you helped your candidate get over the top and into office. And as a bonus, this work is not only essential and important, it's fun, it's interesting, it's empowering, and it's effective. I just signed up another vote by mail. Oh, great job. <laughs> The three things a successful canvasser needs are the right mindset, the right techniques, and the determination you've already shown by committing to volunteer for this vital work. In this video, we'll be sharing some powerful tips and approaches to make sure you're delivering the message given to you by the campaign in a powerful and effective manner. So let's go. Oh, and you know, hold all your questions until the end because we'll probably answer them in the training. Actually, don't even bother about the questions because this is pre-recorded and you'd be talking to the screen by yourself. You get it, it's not straight, it's, you got it. It starts here, when you're face to face with voters at their front doors. And it's essential that you put yourself in the voters' shoes, not in a door-to-door -door salesman kind of way, you're not selling a product. You're here because this is a critically important election. It's your job to explain to the voters you meet what's at stake, why their vote is important, and how to make sure it's counted. The method we found to be most effective is something we call charmingly disarming. Rule number one. When they open the door, they need to see a smiling, friendly neighbor. Someone who shops, works, and lives where they do. That's you. So establish that neighborly rapport. Hi, are you David Kaplan? Yes, that's me. Well, I'm Kate McNeil. And by the way, you have a beautiful garden. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> the garden is a really nice touch. That's good. Rule number two, don't beat around the bush. Get right to it. Let them know why you're there. Identify the candidate you represent and why you felt it was so important for you to come out and knock on their door to speak with them. I'm out here talking to our neighbors to see if we can get their support for our candidate in November. Now would be a good time for us to go over some of the important do's and don'ts of canvassing. Did you know that our candidate thinks we can count on Washington politicians to stand up to their wealthy donors and special interests to do what's right for us? And freeze! Don't stare at and read straight from the script. Also, don't look at your feet or your phone or pass them into their house. And don't hand them the literature right away. Do look them in the eye and be concise. You know what, could you tell me what's her position on health care and pre-existing conditions? Rule number three, engage them before running through the candidate's talking points. Ask them what issues matter the most to them, and most importantly, listen while you maintain that all-important eye contact, like I'm doing right now with you. Invite and have a conversation. Now, you're ready to tell them why your candidate has solutions to their most pressing concerns. I totally understand why health care is important to you. It is to me, too. My mother has a pre-existing condition. I mean, we all know someone in that situation, which is one of the many reasons why I'm supporting our candidate, because she is in favor of protecting the Affordable Health Care Act. It's really important to me. You know, and it's, and it's a big plus for her, quite frankly, because I'm telling you, the medical bills that we faced before the Democrats passed that act, brutal. Rule number four, close the deal. When you see that nod of understanding that voting blue in November is in their best interests, Tell them about mail-in voting and how easy it is. Can I get you to register by mail? You know, quite frankly, I like going to the polls because, you know, they give you that, that sticker. You know, when you vote by mail, they'll send you a sticker. And if you like, you can drop off your ballot in person and skip the line. Plus, they'll even give you another sticker at the polls. <laughs> you know what? I'm on board. Thanks for stopping and knocking. I appreciate it. That's fantastic, and it's been my pleasure. Would you be interested in a lawn sign? Mm, yeah. Yeah, sure, but you, but you know what, I really don't have time to stop by. Oh, well, not to worry. I can have one dropped off later. Oh, wow. Full service. Oh, that's really nice. Thank you very much. Well, well listen, it's so nice meeting you. It's nice to meet you, too. Thank have you. Have a great rest of your day. You, too. Don't forget to take any completed forms with you when you leave, and be sure to record the results of your visit in your app, as instructed by the campaign, adding any notes as you see fit. In this case, make sure that the door sign gets delivered. Finally, make sure the voter's information is correct for this and future campaigns. 
This ensures that we keep the blue wave rolling. Thank you for your dedication and commitment. Now let's get out there and make this election night one that we can all celebrate. We can make this happen, all of us together. Are you in? Let's do it! Yeah. All right.